app is very nosy um, because there's the dam on one side and there's the um, so the lake on one side and the other side there's like the water coming out of the lake down into a river. I've never seen him do this before. I don't think I've actually been up here with him before. He used to come help here with Sam all the time, but we haven't really brought Alfie up there a lot. This is a bit of an eyesore. Don't think that's in use anymore. Yeah, Alfie's, Alfie's quite nosy. Good thing I've got him on the lead. Because that's what he's interested in. He can hear the water down there. And that's what he's interested in. So, Alfie likes the, the sound of running water. And you can see... Whether you can see it, you see water down there. There's the water coming out of the lake because we're on the dam now. And Alfie's being very nosy, looking out of the lake. He can easily get his um, head through those um, holes there. He's not going to get stuck or anything, and he's on the lead. So that's the dam that I was on a second ago. And now we're working along, walking along the lake. There's some, I don't know you can see that, there's some, a duck family down on the lake there. And you can see here how low the water is because normally the water comes right up to the end of these ferns here. It's really low water line. Come here. Sit. Good boy. So all this, I don't know how well you can see because the sun's right over, but all this bits of land that you can see has sticking out into the lake, that's normally all covered by water. And it's very, very, uh, water levels are very low this year. Um, there's a big bird over there as well, which I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can zoom in. I don't know what it is. Look at that. You see it? And here's Alfie. We've sat down on the bench to take a little bit of a break because it's very, very hot today. He's actually wound himself all around the um, bench I'm sitting on with the lead. So, um, as I'm walking around the lake, there's a lot of insects around. We've uh, walked through a little bit of a wood on one side of the lake. And um, along one side of the lake, I know from past experience, there's a lot of flying insects around. So to try and keep me and Alfie free of insects, especially ticks, I'm using, um, oils, of course, I'm using essential oils, of course, to protect us. So I've got this Terra Shield, which is the outdoor blend. It's a blend of oils. I don't know whether you can see that. Um, blend of essential oils and fresh native coconut oil. Uh, which will repel insects. It's safe to use on dogs and humans. So I sprayed that on my legs and I just sprayed it over Alfie's back and his tummy and on his chest. He did have a tick about a week ago, which the girls removed while we were away. Um, so I used this before we went. It's perfectly safe to use on dogs. I'm not sure about cats, but perfectly safe on dogs. And then because it's quite warm, uh, a few minutes ago, I stopped and I put some peppermint essential oil on the back of my neck on my and on my forehead. Um, you've got to be very careful not to get this in your eyes because it does 
um, sting a lot and it will make your eyes water. So I put it on the back of my neck and on my forehead. Um, it helps to cool you down and it's also an insect repe repellent and it also helps to open up your airways. Um, after I put that on, I uh, put some hand cream on just to dilute it um, so that I wouldn't accidentally, if I accidentally touch my eyes or touched Alfie or something because it is very, very strong. And then, in case my hands get dirty, um, or when I pick up, when I have a snack in a minute, um, I brought my hand sanitizer. So again, this is an essential oil-based hand sanitizer. Essential oil, um, all safe, all natural, no toxic chemicals, um, nothing that's gonna damage your endocrine system or anything like that, and it smells really nice too. So this is my new sock that I cast on uh, on Saturday. I haven't knitted that much on it, um, about 30 rounds probably. Uh, yarn is by Mud Punch and it's really nice, soft and squishy and I just love the colours. And I'm using my new pattern, uh, new sock pattern Aventuras in the top down righty and I'm probably going to do a swirly toe and a swirly heel and I'm doing the alternating rib. And there's a cow there that's come to say hello to, or a calf rather, that's come to say hello to Alfie. Alfie went up and then he decided to run away. Hello. Big herd of cows here. And yes, they are behind a fence. A few of these cows are taking a bit of an interest in Alfie, that big cow and that grey calf over there came out to say hello to Alfie. Alfie's less keen on these cows. And Alfie is off to go and try and play with the ducks. Come on, Alfie. Fortunately, he's on the lead, so he can come back and walk around the lake with me. So we're coming back to where we started. That's the dam where I started my walk. About three miles all the way around. Um, about an hour of walking. Although I have stopped a lot, so I've actually taken me about two hours. Because I've stopped a lot and taken a lot of uh, video and photos. Did a bit of knitting. Alfie had a drink of water. But now I'm going to head home and get a bit of work done.